golf news. We finally made it out to the golf course. It is a beautiful day in Florida. We're out here at the golf course, driver in hand, getting ready to tee off on this beautiful par four. Um, so some course etiquette. You can tell there's a group ahead of us. You don't ever want to hit into the group ahead of you. Always make sure they're far away and out of range before you hit your shot. That goes from tee shots, approach shots into the green, everything. You always want to be careful. You can really hurt somebody if you hit them with one of these golf balls. So make sure everybody's out of range. If you hit a ball anywhere near a person or a group, you yell four as loud as you can. So that's uh, the first tip of the day and uh, let's see what happens uh, when we get underway here. What's up golf noobs? Hey, for those of you who are just starting out just beginning, you'll see these yardages. We're here on number five hole, par five. The tips playing 519 yards. Guys, if you're a beginner or you're a high handicap player, you should not be playing the tips. You should not even be playing the blues, okay? If you're a scratch golfer, you should be playing the tips. That means you shoot about around average, even par every round. If you're saying all the way up to, from a scratch to a 10 handicap, you should be playing the second tee box. 463 yards for par five, not bad. But if you're a beginner or your handicap is over 20, 20, you should be playing the whites. 445 yard par five is perfect. If you're an absolute beginner or your handicap's over 30, you need to be playing the four tees. Some people call them the ladies tees. They're not gender specific, okay? If you're brand new, you need to start playing golf from the four tees. That'll accomplish several things. You'll play better, you'll have more fun, you'll shoot lower scores, and you'll be faster on the golf course, not holding anybody up. Pace of play is the most important etiquette rule in golf, okay? Till next time, golf noobs. What's up, golf noobs? All right, so right here, we're gonna get into some course etiquette. We're out here on a beautiful day at a golf course in Florida. We're on, uh, I think this is the third hole. It's a nice little par three. If you see up here, you'll see the guys in front of us are have their golf cart driven up on the green. Guys, you don't ever drive on a par three with your golf cart. Never, ever, under any circumstances, do you drive your golf cart on a par three. On a par three, you always stay on the sidewalk, on the cart path, so that you don't damage the golf course. That's a big course etiquette. That's a big no-no. You do not drive your golf cart on a par three. No way, Jose. Golf noobs, don't do it, all right? Oh. So, moving forward, we're gonna film uh, an entire hole here with you guys. We're gonna film this entire par three. Uh, right now, um, my uh, marketing manager is with, with us. Uh, me and him are playing together this morning, uh, and we're playing okay golf. So, guys, is today going to be the day that Golf Noob climbs out of his slump? Put in the comments below. Is today the day I finally play well and climb out of the slump I've been in? Comment below. I want to see what you think. Guys, remember, like and subscribe. When we get to 500 subscribers, we're going to have that giveaway we've been talking about, and it's going to be glorious. All right, so now without further ado, I'm gonna take the camera. So forgive my camera work, guys. I'm not the cameraman usually, unless I have to be. You know how that goes. Sometimes I'm flying solo. But today I got my wingman. Ladies and gentlemen, golf noobs, let me introduce you to Dallas Gibson. I'll be here for a limited time only. <laughs> so Dallas is my marketing manager. If you go to golfnoobstore.com, all that was set up by this genius right here. Uh, he helps with some of the editing a little bit. He helps with my technology issues. He uh, also takes care of the Golf Noob store. And like I said, he's kind of my marketing guy. So we have some Golf Noob swag that's on the way. Uh, and that is all him. So we're going to be handing that out to some subscribers in our local area for sure. So let's see what we got here. I don't know if you can see this in the sun, but my GPS watch shows 132 yards to the green. So, uh, Dallas, tell us what you're thinking on this shot. I'm thinking these guys could walk off the green a little faster. Uh, got a little little cross breeze behind us. Going to go hopefully left of the stick and bring it back in. But we all know how golf go, especially for us new people. Or not new people, but not good golfer people and uh, he's driving on the green. The group ahead of us just drove their golf cart across the green. 
Guys, you never ever drive on the greens, ever. It is completely inexcusable. There's no reason for it. You will be thrown off the golf course. Never ever, no matter what hole it is, what par it is, you never drive on the green. And remember, par threes, stay on the cart path. Wow. This is terrible. So Dallas, you've been playing golf a long time. Tell us what's one of your, what, what is a golf etiquette tip you would give to beginning golfers besides don't drive on the green? Uh, fix your ball marks on the green, or in this case, tire marks. Like, I don't know how you're going to do that, but that's, <laughs> that you, that's a, no. How and don't worry, that? guys. We're, we're going to show you how to fix ball marks in this video. So stay with us for that, all right? Let's see what Dallas has got. He started it on the line he wanted, but that one's fading to the right a bit. Yeah, it's chippable, it's all right. All right, I gotta hand this back off to Dallas. Okay guys, one of my favorite etiquette tips is play ready golf. I have failed miserably at playing ready <laughs> golf. I came up to the tee and I didn't bring a club with me. What a noob. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try an eight iron and uh, I don't care what happens. I'm just trying to make contact with the ball, see if it gets on the green. A big draw and in the bunker. Now you can see how bad my bunker game is, golf noobs. Wait till you see this. Felt pretty good though, made good contact. Oh. Guys, another fun one is make sure you don't run over anybody with a golf cart. Um, my chief editor has done that more than once, so not cool. Make sure you don't run anybody over, okay? We don't want to hurt anybody out here. <laughs> Oh man, this is going to be an incredibly difficult bunker shot. I am up against the lip. The sand is not the greatest quality. This is going to be one for the record books, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dig your feet in a little. Open that face. You want as much loft as possible and then just follow through. Oh, but not that much. Bunker to bunker, baby. That's what we do around here on Golf New. All right, I'm going to let Dallas go hit his shot and you guys are coming with me. Now we're going to give you guys a little greenside view, see if you guys can watch a ball go in the hole at some point. Here we go. Recording down there on the green so they can see a ball go in the hole, hopefully. Fortunately, they missed that two outs that took me to get out of the sand trap, so I gotta make this for a five. Come on, Dallas, knock one in there for him. Oh, beautiful. Very nicely done. And Dallas Gibson delivers again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, golf noobs, that's what it looks like. That's one hole with us. Another course etiquette tip is make sure you rake the bunkers. We didn't rake the first one because they didn't leave us a rake. There's a rake on the back of our cart. We're gonna grab that, take care of that off camera, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Let's do it, golf noobs. Hey guys, we're here with Abby. She's a cart girl here at our, golf, our golf course. Um, this goes into some of the etiquette of the game, guys. Um, when you see the cart girl, you need to be respectful, be cool. Don't be one of those lame guys. What would you tell new, new people coming to the golf course? I, how they should interact with the cart girl. All I have to say is, one, don't be creepy. There are a lot of creeps out here. And two, please, 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 please hit me. Why ask? That's right, guys. The cart girl. Simple process. All right, till next time, golf noobs. What's up, golf noobs? Okay, we're a little backed up here on the tee box. Slow play is killing our game, so play ready golf. That doesn't mean get out in front of the players ahead of you and risk getting hit by a ball. That just means if you can hit, don't wait for the other players to hit. Know your yardage, know your number, grab your club, be ready to hit as soon as it's safe to do so. In the meantime, if you're experiencing a lot of slow play, one thing I like to do to pass the time and keep loose is practice my chipping. Just drop you a ball and work on your short game. It's a great way to stay loose, keep your mind on the game, and keep the skills sharp. What's up, golf news? Hey, back here with a little etiquette tip for you. Guys, when you're on the golf course, you hit the ball first, and then your club head makes contact with the ground, leaving a divot. That's what should be happening on your swing with every club in your bag except your driver. You should always take a small divot after every shot. These divots really tear up the golf course though. You can see where some people haven't really filled in some of their divots. Here's one here, this is a good divot here. You see there's a lot of dirt and grass there. So what you do is most golf courses on the golf cart, they have these small little ice chests. They're full of either fertilizer or sand. You simply fill it with sand or fertilizer. And then you just fill in a divot. Stop it down with your foot gently so it's nice and flat. Just like that. And now you've repaired the divots and the golf course is gonna look great when you're back next time. Later, golf noobs. What's up, golf noobs? Welcome back to our channel on YouTube where nothing is out of bounds. Found some awesome unsuspecting victims today. We're gonna have a little contest to give away a free box of Kirkland Signature Golf Balls that I love so much. Okay, guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Robbie. Nice Robbie, to meet you. nice to meet you, man. Hi, Alyssa. Alyssa, pleasure. Jessica. Jessica, nice. Jeff. Jeff, hey, good to meet you. This is my brother-in-law, Dallas. Uh, he's uh, part of my team here at Golf New. Um, new channel on YouTube. We aim to uh, kind of help the beginner golfers and intermediate golfers. So here's the question to win the box of golf balls. What is the largest demographic of golf golfers by skill level scratch and better nine handicap to 14 handicap 14 handicap to 20 handicap or 20 handicap plus the plus. largest demographic i'll go 14 was it 14 to 20 yeah i'll go that one i'll go 20 plus okay well, we can't guess the same thing so i'm going whatever's under 14 9 to 14 okay nice one. so you're scratch so you're scratch <laughs> she's the best so okay Congratulations, bro. You guys are the, the largest demographic of golfers is those who suck. suck. That makes me feel better. This channel is for people who, who suck, people who are beginning, people who are new. Okay, I'm the worst golfer on YouTube. Okay, I'm a 24 handicap. That's debatable. My golf game is absolutely terrible, but this channel is for new people, for higher handicaps. You see this golf content on YouTube, and it's all for these guys who are like 14 handicaps and better. I don't know about y'all, but I got a full-time job. I got a family. I ain't got time to be out here six days a week, okay? Yeah. All right? We're going to have lots of free giveaways. We, nothing is out of bounds on my channel. We're going to have plenty of swag giveaways. We're going to cover a range of topics from that'll benefit scratch players, but mainly we're aimed at beginners and higher handicap. So guys, do me a favor, like, subscribe, check us out on Golf Noob. The channel won't get monetized until we reach 1,000 subscribers, but at 500 subscribers, if we can get to that, we're gonna have a giveaway. Okay, that's gonna come right out of Golf Noob's pocket. We're gonna hook y'all up with something sweet, all right? Awesome. All right. Thanks guys for being here. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. 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 Yeah, right back at you. Thanks guys. Hit them straight. <laughs> I tried to hit mine out of bounds. I thought that's how you play this game, right? Out of bounds? Isn't yeah. that what you're supposed to do? Nothing's out of bounds. <laughs> that's right. Thanks, guys. Check Thanks us out at Golf Noob on YouTube.